This is Father Jim Corda. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning, and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant is Father James Corda, president of CTNY, the Catholic Television Network of Youngstown. I am Meg Daniluk from St. Mary's in Mineral Ridge and St. Stephen's in Niles. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers, Stephen Rosita. Oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast, and our eternal home. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It's wonderful to be here to celebrate Mass with you today. Mindful of God present, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us this day with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us join the angels in their hymn of praise. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, you we adore you, we glorify, you, we glorify you, you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son Lord God, God, Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, Father you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through Christ our Lord, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Who shut within the doors the sea when it burst forth from the womb, when I made the clouds its garments and thick darkness its swaddling bands? When I set limits for it and fastened the bar of its door and said, Thus far shall you come, but no farther, and here you shall your proud waves be stilled. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. Give, Give thanks, thanks to, to the, the Lord. Lord. His, His love, love is everlasting. everlasting. They who sailed the sea in ships, trading on the deep waters, these saw the works of the Lord and his wonders in the abyss. Give thanks, Give thanks to, the to the Lord. Lord. His, His love, love is everlasting. Is everlasting. His command raised up a storm wind, which tossed its waves on high. They mounted up to heaven. They sank to the depths. Their hearts melted away in their plight. Give, Give thanks, thanks to, to the, the Lord. Lord. His love, love is, is everlasting. everlasting. They cried to the Lord in their distress. From their straits, he rescued them. He hushed the storm to a gentle breeze, and the billows of the sea were stilled. Give, Give thanks, thanks to the Lord, Lord. His, his love, love is, is everlasting. They rejoiced that they were calmed, and he brought them to their desired haven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his kindness and his wondrous deeds to the children of men. Give, give thanks, thanks to the Lord. His, his love, love is everlasting. everlasting. A 
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us. Once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on we regard no one according to the flesh. Even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst. God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat, just as he was, and other boats were with him. A violent squall came up and waves were breaking over the boat so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased, and there was great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, we all know what it's like to be in a storm. A storm is when things let loose, when steady and calm things go topsy-turvy, when powerful forces overwhelm us and control disappears. We all know that storms can be a frightening thing. Today I'd like to talk about another type of storm, and that are the storms that happen within us. We all know about the storms of human experience. There are winds and waves of fear and guilt, anger and pride, doubt and unbelief. In the sacred scriptures, there are four types of storms, and they are all recorded in the first 11 chapters of the book of, Ec of Genesis. Maybe they are the four main kind of storms that any of us will ever experience. The first storm in the book of Genesis is the storm of doubt. It started in the Garden of Eden when Eve heard the voice of the serpent. You see, the serpent tricked her into doubting God's word and thinking that God was unfair. Eve was in the storm of should I or shouldn't I? Well, both Eve and Adam took the fruit and ate it. They disobeyed God. It was the fall. Do you know that storm? Have you ever been in that storm? I think you have. We all have. Like Adam and Eve, we doubted God. We think God was unfair, and so we disobey him. Like the disciples in the boat, we accuse the Lord. Don't you care if we perish? They shouted. What a foolish question to ask one who left heaven to take on our human nature, who went to the cross for us, who died for us. 
You see, our fear and our doubt allow us to accuse the one who loves us most. The second is a storm of disappointment. It was a storm that came upon Cain, who finally killed his brother Abel. Cain was angry and disappointed. He said, why should God have a greater regard for my brother than for me? Do you know that storm? Have you ever been in that storm? I think you have. We all have. It was the winds and storm of disappointment and the waves of jealousy. Because of that, we stray from the presence of God. The third storm is that of self-reliance. It was the descendants of Seth, the son of Adam and Eve. They began to walk with God, but then eventually they strayed because of their self-reliance. They felt more important than God. They thought they can do everything and anything without God. It was that storm that caused the great flood to clear the earth and to start afresh. You and I know that storm. At times we give no credit to God. We believe that all we accomplished is because of us. We become too self-reliant. The fourth and last storm is that of pride. It was a storm that came upon the people who built the great tower called Babel. They had great skill and technology, but their goals and their motives went bad. They wanted to become gods, and their pride got the best of them. But God's stormy judgment came upon them and confused their speech and scattered them. You see, you and I have been in that storm of pride, when pride gets the best of us and our self-assurance becomes defiant. You and I know what it's like to be in a storm, and we certainly know the storms of human experience. But with Jesus, we can call upon his name, and he will drive away the doubt and disappointment. He will calm the storms within us, and he will cause self-reliance and pride to disappear. For though God's justice expelled from the Garden of Eden, God's mercy produced a savior. Though God's justice haunted the guilty, God's mercy gave time for repentance. Though God's wrath made an end to the world, God's mercy saved a remnant. And though God's justice scattered the defiant, God's mercy gave a new time to trust. Jesus, who rules the storms of life, responds to us. Let us call upon him, for he is near. Let us trust him, for he cares. He cares for you and me. Together now, let us profess the faith that we all share. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, 
who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Humbly now let us present to God our special petitions. For the church, that we may put our trust in God when we are buffeted by storms that leave us feeling powerless and defeated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our country's leaders, that they may find the courage to fight racism, sexism, discrimination, and inequality so that all people may be treated as we ourselves wish to be treated. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who work on boats and ships, that they may be kept safe while on the water, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all fathers, grandfathers, and all who have fathered us, and for all those fathers who have passed on to eternal life, that God may find favor in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those whose lives are in turmoil, who feel that their lives are beset by a never-ending storm, that they may find safety and comfort in God's soothing care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God in heaven, we praise and thank you for calming the storms in our human life and one day welcome us to the fullness of peace in your kingdom. We make this prayer in the spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ your Son. For out of compassion, for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. 
and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you, amen. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Eternal Father, strong to save, whose arm has bound the restless wave, who bids the mighty ocean deep its own appointed limits keep. Oh, hear us when we raise our plea for those in peril on the sea. O oh Christ, the Lord of hill and plain, o'er which our traffic runs remain, by mountain pass or valley low, wherever, Lord, your loved ones go, protect them by your guarding hand from every peril on the land. O oh, Spirit, whom the Father sent to spread abroad the firmament, O oh, wind of heaven, by your might, save all who dare the eagle's flight, and keep them by your watchful care.